Hey Dave, here's a pretty simple way to start off with programming. So I pulled up some sample text from the web and we were talking about doing a word count. So I think we've all done this before when writing papers. In uh, Word 2010, it's under the proofing, under the file tab, uh, excuse me, under the review tab, and then proofing, and then the word count. So when we do that, we say that we have 71 words. So that's, that's a reference. So we could try to do this ourselves. You can program inside of Word, and to do that, you bring up the Visual Basic for Applications environment. To do that, you hold down the Alt key and press F11 at the same time. So that brings up this Visual Basic for Applications. And since I've already brought this up before, uh, I have this code editing pane right here, but you will probably have to click on this document, double click on it, and then it will open up this code editor. So um, the first thing that we could do is make a function to tell us how many words there are in the document. So we, do, we type uh, public sub which stands for subroutine, and the name of our subroutine, we'll call it count words. And when I pressed enter, uh, the environment here wrote some code for me. It filled it in for me. So it filled in n sub. Uh, traditionally, we tab in to the subroutines. Uh, it's not necessary, but just by tradition, we put all the code in. Uh, tab indented. So now we can say uh, word count equals active document, which refers to whatever document has the focus, dot, and now notice when I type dot, it gives me a whole bunch of choices. And I can scroll down through here and see all the different things that I can do to the active document and information I can get about the active document. Just from doing this before, I know that the active document has a words property. So at this point, we're dealing, uh, this represents all the words in the document. And then we can say dot count. So now this single variable word count should be the number of words in the document. In Visual Basic for Applications, to show the user some piece of information, we use the message box function. And in its simplest form, it just takes one argument. So you can say message box word count, the variable that you just made. And we can test, test this out uh, very simply. Just highlight the whole function and then click on this green arrow. So it says 83. And when we did the word word count out of the, the document with the tool from the GUI, it said 71. So right away, you can see there's, there's a difference. So um, we should find out what that difference is. Um, by the way, um, this stuff is not a secret. You can uh, learn about the different uh, properties and objects that are available to you by clicking on it and then pressing the F1 key. When you do that, it'll bring up a help dialog and you can read through about uh, the object that you've selected when you ask for help. You can also do that on the different, uh, you can do that on words and you could also do it on count. So if I press F1, I'll get documentation on the count property of the words object. And so that's likely to explain um, what is considered a word in the active document uh, because obviously it's different. We got 71 with the first one, uh, pulling it out of word, and we got 83, I think, when we uh, did it this way. So let's say we want to know what. Uh, 
what all is considered a word in this document. So we can write a, another subroutine. And we can call it uh, examine words. And we'll tab in. And this will be a loop. So we'll type for each thing in active document dot words. And then when we hit enter, it didn't write code for us uh, this time, but what you'd have to do is type uh, next thing. So this loop right, right here will iterate over all of the words individually in the document, and each time it iterates over it, it'll call it thing. That'll be the name of our variable. So we can use the message box function again, and then thing. So we should see 83 things pop up, each one of them being what Word considers to be, what Microsoft Word considers to be a word in the document. And this will help us to understand what the differences are between active document dot words and uh, pulling the command out of the regular uh, Microsoft Word menu. So let's do this. Right away, it, it says that uh, U is a word all by itself, and then the period. So you can see here that it's a little bit more fine-grained in what it considers to be a word. And what I find interesting is when we get to the end, um, how many words are on the end that we would not consider to be words. So here we are at the end. Uh, we did Daniel Webster period. It considers period by itself to be a word. And then there's something empty, empty. So there was two, two empty uh, things at the end. Um, so anyways, uh, to go from here, I would, I would read, I would uh, start clicking on these objects like active document and pressing F1. And you can, they'll even give you, uh, they'll give you code here. Um, sometimes, well, it's related to what, what you're doing, but um, sometimes it'll be tangentially related and you'll be able to find out about um, something else. So if you just keep on uh, clicking on these different objects and trying out new things, uh, pretty soon you're going to get uh, real good at uh, programming in Visual Basic for applications within Word.